Well, I think it's a lovely idea. We do deserve the utmost recognition for our con. Our guest has arrived. Please, sit down. Your Majesty, we have been eagerly awaiting your arrival. For centuries, in fact. Millennia for me, spent wading through an eternal dream, or reality. Welcome to our humble abode. I'm Mary Wollstonecraft Shelley, romantic novelist, poet and woman. I trust you will enjoy your stay, for you are in the finest post-mortal company. Well, perhaps Aristotle and Gandhi's table side. Yes, a fusion of cultures, ideologies and experiences. I'm Zhuang Zi, philosopher from the Han dynasty, and somewhat infamous for a dream I had. I was a butterfly, but was Zhuang Zi dreaming of the butterfly, or was the butterfly dreaming of Zhuang Zi? Well, we all have our fetishes. I'm the great Count Marquis de Sade, wicked by name, wicked by practice, and at your service. What is your pleasure? Perhaps a tale of young lust and experimentation? Charming as always, Marquis. You are familiar with Scrabble? We like to play single 13 square rounds, all letters exhausted. Every player with the same set of letters. Allez. Gay Wizards in Hogwarts, by me. It was a chilly afternoon at Hogwarts, and Harry Potter had finally found his true essence, his identity. As he and Ron rehearsed for the school play, it became apparent. Harry was, in fact, a homosexual. The feminine urges had taken over, and there was no denying it. Gay, 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 friends gay, 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 Purely different, 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 different. Ah, difference, deviance, nature in all its glory.
female empowerment through genderless machines. Won't Mother be pleased? and the unnamed creator are both dreams, and I, who call you a dream, am also a dream. Ten more seconds! And stop! What do you think? Well, we're waiting. Oh, for the love of God. Let's just call it a tie and be gone. Hmm, all right. Au revoir, audience.